really good week. So this week what we're going to be doing is we're going into the past energy of what their thoughts and feelings were when they last met you or when you last communicated with your person, okay? So we've got two decks to choose from. As always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So deck number one and deck number two, we've got the Hush Tarot and we've got the Light Seers Tarot. So go to the deck that you are most drawn to and as you are drawn to that deck, feel the emotions for your person in your heart energy and feel it pushing into the deck. Now if you can't work with the feelings, visualise a pink or a green colour going to the deck that you are most drawn to. It's like a little energy portal to see the colours going into the decks. Okay, fabulous, well done guys. Okay. Deck number one. So like I said, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances, uh, where you are, what's been happening. We're going to all your energies, all your people's energy, and the strongest mutual energy between you all is what gets pulled out. And that is how me and my guides work. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into the collective energy of their people, their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of their people. Okay, two more. My guide said two more. And then we are off. Okay, so the first thing that's coming through my right ear um, is that Britney Spears song, Sometimes. Do you remember that one? Sometimes I run, sometimes I am hide, sometimes I'm scared of you, but all I really want is to hold you tight. Now, before we even look at the cards, there's a very, very strong message in that song about your person and their emotions for you. Because they have got this fear-based energy, sometimes I run, sometimes I hide. Fear-based energy, hermit mode, sometimes I'm scared of you, energy between the two of you very, being very, very intense, but all I really want is to hold you tight and treat you right and be with you day and night. So their emotions for you are very, very strong, very, very deep, and they don't really know how to get a handle on that, how to get a grip on it. They're not sure um, why their emotions are so strong, and then they're not sure why their actions are the way they are because their emotions are so strong. Okay? So can you tell me please, what did their people think and feel the last time they saw or communicated with those watching? One. This deck is so cute. Look at the little kitten on this. So cute. Three. How many do you want? Okay. Five. That was a hand slip. Hand slip. Six. Tell you what, they fly everywhere. When the energy is so strong between you guys, they really do kind of fly off the course, like they fly everywhere. What did they think and feel last time they communicated or saw their people? What were their thoughts and feelings? I'm just going to get two more for the top. One, two. Okay. So the overall energy that we have going on with their thoughts and feelings last time they saw you and communicated with you is quite a positive energy. So the two cards that have just jumped out over the top, the, look how adorable these are. You have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Three of Cups. So your person, right off the bat, there is this movement energy coming towards you. And even on the Three of Cups, we have her on a carousel moving, making movement towards you. So there is this kind of very strong feeling of wanting to connect with you, wanting this energy to work out between the two of you, having this very strong pull towards you. Now with the carousel energy coming up here, sometimes you're going to feel that like you're going round in a circle with it. And um, some days it's good as the, the 
horse goes up some days it's a bit more dippy as the horse goes down um, and it is this kind of overall energy of feeling like you're going around in circles and riding a wave of emotions now your person is also feeling that but they are making this slow steady movement towards you so even though it's rocking up and down they are still making that movement towards you so in their thoughts and their emotions last time you guys spoke they were very happy to connect with you or, or when you last saw them they were very happy to connect with you and um, they became very aware of their feelings and they also acknowledge those feelings spirit are saying so it wasn't just oh you're all right you'll do it was a very much a strong acknowledgement of your their feelings towards you and this slow steady movement coming from that a lot of heart-centered energy coming forward here if they didn't communicate about their emotions when you last spoke or saw them and um, they wanted to they wanted to communicate with you and with the heart-centered energy kind of coming forward here there was a communication of love Okay, so they wanted to tell you how they were feeling about you. They might have hidden away from that, depending on your individual circumstances, but this is what their thoughts and emotions were. They wanted to communicate with you their emotions of love. They wanted to communicate with you that they can see you guys have got a future. Okay, um, but also at the same time, they know that they're going around in circles and they're waving up and down. So following on from that, um, they weren't really sure how to handle the situation. Um, we've got two twos coming up over here. So we've got a two, 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 two. Um, when you will see a two, 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 normally this is a more divine connection. But normally this is a twin flame connection. And when you see that number, it normally means that circumstances are going to reappear or they're going to text you or they're going to communicate with you. So do watch out for your two, two, twos. Um, they were, know that they are the ones that hold the key to this connection. They know that they are in control of this connection, but they're also seeing you in a lot stronger power than what they have done before. So they know that you've been hurt in the past in previous relationships. A lot of you have opened up to them about that. And now they feel that you've really spread your wings and you are the guys that are in control of your own destiny, in control of your situation. They see that you've kind of worked through all this gray area and that you're coming out the other side now. And from that, with this 2222 two, two, two over here, this is the re-establishment of your connection, them wanting to talk to you, them wanting to uh, build a future with you. Now again, as we said, they are the ones that are in control of it. There's a little bit of uncertainty that comes with that. So they have this overall feeling that this is what they want. The uncertainty comes from going back to that Britney Spears song comes from that because they don't often know how to handle the energy again they are the ones that are in control but there is this kind of lack of choice and lack of decision being made on it so even though they know it's what they want and they're seeing you in a much more powerful position there's a vulnerability behind them that scares them okay so they get scared of being vulnerable and you are the one person that makes them feel vulnerable so when this communication came forward from with them, um, or when you saw them, they were starting to feel a little bit vulnerable because they realised their emotions for you were very, very strong. So they were trying to work out what the right thing was to do. <clears throat> Again, there's very much a tapping into seeing the future. They can envision their life with you. They can envision that this can work out between you both. There's just a little bit of a stumbling block when it comes to vulnerability and intensity of the connection between you both. Um, where do you want to go now? So there's a ref people uh, your people have also been reflecting on this now some of you guys if you are in a third party connection you will know about that if your person is involved with someone else and um, it looks to be that they are reflecting on that if they're not involved with someone else third parties can often be escapism behavior like alcohol drugs partying playing xbox for hours and hours and if that isn't the case for you guys and you don't feel that there is a third party influence this is going to be on an energetic level so what they do is with this kind of third party whatever the energy is between you guys um they start to realize that this is something that can't last they can't stand the test of time that they need to break away from this third party situation and there feels to be a breaking away from it here with the crow being on this the crow is a communication with the other world, the other dimensions. Um, crows will often fly past you when there are messages coming in from the higher dimensional beings. So it's really important that you acknowledge that your person is being guided by spirit, they're being guided by their loved ones, their helpers, their ancestors. They are being guided in the right direction um, towards you 
towards you. And I just saw a magpie um, going for silver. And you know how they always say magpies are really drawn to silver? That energy is coming forward, that they see you as a bit of silver, glitter, glimmery, and they get really drawn towards you. So even if their actions are a little bit compass mentum, spirit just said, my best Latin. Um, even if their actions are a little bit like that, um, you have got this direct energy moving forward from them. They're just you know, being guided by spirit. With the owl on this in, in hermit mode, this is signifying the changes that are happening in them. So they're really building up this uh, connection, getting ready to make changes, my pooch, um, getting ready to create changes in their life. So when it came to you guys communicating here, or seeing one another, it was like there is nowhere for these falsities to hide around them anymore. You know, they're being guided by spirit, they're being indicated that they have to create these changes. Um, and when you guys communicated or saw one another, they are aware that these changes have got to start happening very, very soon. So they're getting ready to create these changes. Um, they were also a little bit fed up with their actions towards you how they've treated you or not treated you, whichever way you want to take that, um, how they handled the situation between you guys. Um, they are a bit annoyed at themselves of how they've done that. When they communicated and saw you again, um, they felt that that pull was still there, that connection was still there, that bond that you two share was still there. And they were a bit pissed off with themselves that circumstances or their own silly faults has led them in the direction that they have been going. Um, and again, this is where these falsities are starting to fade away with their connection because they're realizing they're having this massive wake up call. Spirit just said, waking up and smell the coffee. They really have gone through this process of transitioning now and realizing what they want. Um, Again, the spiritual connection between the two of you is really strong, a uh, higher dimensional relationship. So again, as we said earlier, twin flames, higher vibrational soulmates, false twins. Um, with that energy that comes with that, there's nowhere for the ego to hide, you know? And they will try and act as much as they can on their ego because it's their safety net. But once that safety net starts to fall, those changes that we were talking about over here that they have to make will start to fade and they, they will have to create those changes. Wouldn't be surprised if a lot of tower moments start happening around your people where the old really fades away and the new comes forward, okay? So there's a little bit of a future energy coming up there. Um, Again, they feel that you know more than what you, you let on as well. They know that you're very intuitive or psychic or spiritual, whichever way. They have this feeling about that. Even if you haven't communicated it, they can feel it on an energetic level. They know that you know more than what you let on. And that, um, and one side of things, they have that curiosity that really draws them towards you. And then the other side of things, there's this little bit of panic that comes from that as well. And again, with the crow being the messenger over here, um, Spirit just said murmuration as well. So very much talking about the bird energy coming forward here. The birds, as we said, are the signals, the communicators from the other dimensions coming towards you. The murmuration is your energy flowing. So murmuration, I don't know if you guys know it, I don't want to insult anyone's intelligence, but murmuration is when all the birds fly together and they create those kind of winged patterns all over the sky and it looks absolutely beautiful. So the murmuration between you guys is your energy flowing. And when you look at those birds, and how they fly, this is where your and your person's energy is. Um, when you see those murmurations, it's an indicator of the energy between you and your person and that natural flow of life, okay? And again, spirit is saying life force energy that comes with that. So again, very much this divine connection. They know that they haven't treated you in the best way. They're fed up with their actions and they're realizing now that they can't fight this energy. This energy is coming very strongly to the forefront. From there, we have your ace of swords, okay? So so in, another again, uh, another again, again, um, we have this carousel energy coming forward. So you've got this kind of cycle going on between you guys, um, but we also have new beginnings coming forward here with celebration. So your person overall in their thoughts and feelings, um, in short, they're breaking away from self-sabotage. They're breaking away from constructs that have been holding them into place. They're being guided by spirit. Um, they're seeing the energetic 
they're feeling the energy between you guys. There's still a little bit of fear coming up within them, and the fear stems from their vulnerability. Potential third party energy here, um, but again, it's to create changes. So your person, when they last spoke and communicated with you or saw you, knew at that point that their emotions were very real, that they had to communicate with you, that they want to keep this connection going, and that the cycle is still going on between you guys, but they know that they have to create change soon or they risk of losing you and they don't want to do that because the energy between you two is absolutely magnificent okay and that is deck number one my angels and um, my turnaround time is down on readings at the moment England is back on lockdown uh, so if you need me it now is a really good time for you guys to book because I am at home every single day uh, and I am reading every single day so now is a really good time to book uh, turnaround time is down uh, and that, I feel, is it. Anything else? No, that's it. That's that number one. Okay, guys, have a phenomenal week. I will speak to you soon. Lots of goddess blessings uh, from my house to your house. Stay safe in these really troubled times um, and look after yourself. Bye, guys. Okay, my mystic tribe, deck number two. So as always, like I said on deck number one, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. So what we're doing today are what were their thoughts and feelings when they last saw you or communicated with you. So the first thing that's coming through my right ear, which is normally higher dimensional beings, uh, ascended masters, angels, etc., etc., um, is a song, and this is... Um, Stevie Nicks. I love Stevie Nicks. Leather and Lace by Stevie Nicks. Now, if you have a look at those lyrics, um, they are very, very emotional based energy. Okay, think about your person for me, their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. She says in that song about walking, when you walk through the door, knew you wouldn't, you wouldn't be walking out of my life, etc. etc. So have a listen. Or possibilities, probabilities, chances, chances, and changes of deck numero dois. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what's going on. So what were their people's thoughts and feelings, the collective's thoughts and feelings about those watching when they last saw them or last, whoa, communicated with them? That was a flyer. What were their thoughts and feelings? Oh, so cute. So cute. Three. How many do you want? My guide is saying nine. We're going to go for nine. Double. Five. So your person um, has had a right little mix up in their heart over the situation. But there's a lot of hope over this, a lot of hope and ideas and dreams that this is going to work out between you guys. So, 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 let's start at the very beginning. As uh, Who said that? Sound of music. Let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Ten of Pentacles. So their thoughts and feelings when you last communicated or saw them was they can see this family unit with you. Okay, they can see the connection, they can see the bond, they can see that this is something that they want to invest their time into. There's a lot of stability based energy here, a lot of root chakra energy, a lot of security energy. Now you guys might feel it be feeling a little bit ungrounded with this situation. Spirit is saying if you are feeling a little bit as if you're working on the higher dimension energy and it's all very spiritual it would be really important for you guys to try and uh, do some earth-based energy like walking uh, drumming listening to drums as you're walking walking your dog really absorbing Gaia going out into mother nature to ground yourself because your person is feeling quite grounded with the situation there's an ending of a cycle beginning of a new one with this card but the new one is indicating a family a coming together a bonding a connection and again very root chakra based, very earthly based, very um, about security and stability, okay? So they can see that this is something that they want to invest their time in. Now, where they've been in the past with this is, um, there's a, a quote, and I love this quote, and it says, there's nothing more remarkable in life than sitting in, uh, being uh, your person sitting in their jail, but holding the key. 
And this Five of Pentacles card really makes me feel like that. So your person has kind of trapped themselves or in the past with making themselves feel trapped. They are the one that holds the key to this. They are the one that can unlock the door and they are holding it. But the moment or where they have been with the 10 coming up here is they haven't been able to open that door. And that's a magnificent sight, isn't it? That they have all the answers, they have all the tools, they have everything they need, uh, but they've been quite stubborn and stuck and not open the door. Now the kind of flower energy at the top really reminds me of ayahuasca, um, which is what the shamans smoke in the Amazon. Again, really connecting them up to the higher dimensions. Potentially uh, with some of you guys, there's gonna be issues with drugs coming up. Um, if not, that could be seeing you guys as a drug, okay? Sometimes they will refer to you as your drug, um, as their drug, and with that, it um, makes me think of What's that thing in Twilight? I haven't watched Twilight in years, but he said you're like my own personal brand of heroin. This is how your person also sees you. So if it's not physical drugs, they are seen in that very strong bond, that drug energy towards you. You haven't got a devil card here. I wouldn't have been surprised if the devil card did flag up with this, um, but it is that very strong addiction energy. So they've been holding the key feeling a little bit sad and lonely over holding their own key, knowing that their connection with you guys proceeds or proceeds all, all other you know earthly constraints I can't feel the word with that I can hear it but I can't get the word right it wasn't proceeds um and they're holding the key to this and again when the last communicated with you there is this I want this to work out with us I want this to go full steam ahead but I'm just kind of holding fire a little bit on this and temperance kind of flagging up here with that as well so they wanted it to go the way they want this family unit they want the whole caboodle with you uh, but there is a stubborn energy coming forward here that they're holding the key to their own gel and they can't quite get out but they do feel that very strong intense energy between the two of you that addiction energy that lust that passion a very fire-based energy kind of coming up here um, and really trying to balance that energy out okay now there is progression in this just looking at these three cards there is progression coming up here and um, that your person and you have been on this journey and this journey is moving uh, moving ahead it might feel slow but there is uh, that journey going on you have the Sun and the moon on this card the male female energies and balancing those energy is out so feeling a lot more balanced over the situation still a little bit stubborn over what to do over it but also knowing that this is something that they want to commit to so they have probably with the majority of you had a bit of time away from the situation if they haven't had time away from the situation they might have blown a little bit cold with you as they've gone off on their own pathways uh, for a little bit of time but now that is shifting again really coming up with this abundance between you guys you're going to be going through a point um, of romantic abundance happening here, Spirit is saying. With well, your Three of Cups as well, this is a journey, this is a moving forward with your person. So when they communicated with you, they're kind of ready for the next chapter as well. They felt ready. They felt ready to take this, the next journey, the next part of the, the way. And with that, this is the celebration that comes with it. You have your mind, body and spirit aligning on here with the triple spiral on the lady's back. I don't know if you can see it. You have your energies aligning with one another, really feeling this bond and connection between you both. Um, and there is a peace. There is a harmony that comes with it. Okay, so they're feeling more at peace with the situation. Even though there's this little bit of stubbornness going on here, there is this peace-based energy movement towards you okay wanting this to work out and it's really kind of going back to the start with your ten of pentacles and the family you also have the dog in this as well uh, dogs often symbolize protection so there is this need for your person to be protecting you as well again very root based energy and if you are feeling a little bit disconnected from uh, from the earth at the moment because you're, you're choosing to go into fairyland and work with the air energies a little bit more, please ground yourself, please go for a walk. Uh, tourmaline in your bra or in your back pocket, anything along those lines. So your person and you have both been clinging on to the situation. Again, there is an alignment of your energy. Um, you're, you're both now looking towards the future, where this is going, what's gonna happen, where the, sky, where the clouds have been really around you both, clouds kind of symbolizing in Lenoma, they symbol troubles, confusion, worries, and um, those clouds have now cleared, 
okay and there is a there is a clear path and a clear direction for you guys to follow and again very root centered energy very um very grounded energy that this is something that can give stability and security and you know to a certain extent protection with that dog coming up as well the blocks that have been holding you back are now fading away and there's movement towards the future both of you looking at where this is going okay now your person is still stubborn with that because they're holding that key but this is what they want and this is where their thoughts and their emotions were last time you guys communicated they need to work, work past those fears but if, when they work past those fears and it was a when not an if when they work past their fears and um, you have this progression route into the future with them um over here with the moon energy this is where the shadows are coming forward where shadows come to play that is a really clear um i don't know if that's a song but i just heard when shadows come to play they are both they're howling at the moon you're both howling at the moon um you're howling at the moon because you're wanting this insight um you're trying to release stuff that has happened at the past um trying to move yourself forward your person is howling at the moon your energy being the moon again never sexually orientated or gender specific but female energy um which will be the majority of you guys watching is the moon energy so your person is howling at the moon um, wanting to kind of get your attention saying to you oh hey look I'm over here I'm over here come be with me let's make this work out you might be feeling that you've been drowning with the emotions of this all but there is this kind of balancing again this balancing energy happening between the two of you as your energies are aligning with one another spirit is saying a few more moon cycles and this should have shifted into your favor a little bit bogged down with the emotional side of things um that you've decided you guys watching have decided you know to stand in your power to keep going keep progressing um, and that you're not going to get overly swamped with emotions the emotions are feeling a lot more stable and this has happened since you guys last met or communicated your emotions have stabilized for one another so where that addiction energy came up before that stabilization is coming forward your energies have stabilized that's not to say you're gonna not go through this that's not to say you're gonna have um you will have this more passionate energy coming forward but it's stabilized at this point in time from there with your ace of wands and the star your person also saw you in this very sexual light again this addiction energy very sexual very passionate very attracted to you thinking naughty naughty thoughts about you um, and wanting to see how it works between you both they know that there's a potential that they've hurt you in the past or that you have been hurt but there's also this um you're following your intuition which you need to carry on doing don't let your mind get in the way really do follow your intuition with this and you've got a lot of hope they have hope that this is going to work out they're feeling very, very positive over the situation. They're feeling that this situation really has got a progression route forward. Now, the only kind of block over here, like we said, is that they are the ones that are holding the key to this and they're being a bit stubborn on moving it forward. Now, your best way to counteract that is to just keep doing you and um, keep focusing your energy on you, what you want, what pathway you want to go down. Don't give all your person your energy. If you're sending them energy, start take a step back and send it to yourself if you're you guys will be mirroring okay so if you are sending them energy it's important you send it back to yourself because that will then echo stronger into their energy so send yourself love instead of sending them love send yourself heart energy send them sending them heart energy send yourself confidence security stability because it will reflect onto them neville goddard said everything on our outside world is a reflection of our inside world so if you breach the gap of all those things within you it will echo onto your person and you've got these progression routes again there is very very strong shifts and energy with the connection in deck number two your person's thoughts and feelings when they last saw you is that they want this to work they want the energy to change they know that they've got to start doing something about this um they're not quite sure on how to go about it but there is this thought process of i want this connection to work out between us there's a strong sexual energy between the two of you lots of fun flirting high vibration energy um that they're trying to grab your attention that they want you to notice them um that you guys are feeling better over the situation it's drawing them more towards you but what they want what they think what they feel is that this is something that can go the distance it's going to take a little bit of work because of their stubbornness but they do feel that there is a, a pathway here for you two to move yourself forward 
Keep grounded with the connection, keep your energies balanced with it all, and this is looking really positive. Um, Spirit are saying three, four moon cycles, this energy between you guys would have really shifted. And with your ace of wands and the star energy over here, this is your progression route towards them, okay? Star always makes me think <clears throat> of when I was in Israel and you follow the star to get to baby Jesus. Um, this energy coming forward here, that this is the right path. Follow the star, listen to the star maiden. You know, get there is hope. There is a lot of hope and dreams of this. With your ace of wands, even though you've been hurt in the past, this um, is going to be worth another, this is worth a shot. This is worth a shot. Your person's energy has really changed for you. You know, they've had this time out or, or wherever they've been. They're feeling more stable on this. They're feeling more confident in this relationship moving forward. Um, a little bit of time to go with that. But your energies are a lot more balanced than they have been before. The chemistry and the connection between the two of you, the passionate energy, will still be there. But it's a really positive thing that your energies are balanced because where that addiction energy was coming through before, if there was any toxicity that came around that, that is now subsiding and you guys can shift into your Three of Cups, your your um, celebration, your beginning, and as your energies are aligning, mind, body, spirit, all aligning with one another and a very strong focus on unconditional love. Might be worth looking at the astrology between you guys as well. The stars are really coming up heavily into your deck. Um, I don't know who over here believes in star seeds, etc., etc. Um, but there is a star seed connection going on here, soul origin connection between you guys as well. So it stands the test of time, and it's why the energy is so intense between you both. Okay, and that is deck number two. A lot of emotions there. So my turnaround time for private readings is down at the moment. Uh, England is still on lockdown. Uh, I think we're on lockdown until the 2nd or the 3rd of December, and then they're hoping to lift it, but we're, we're still going to be tiered. So I don't know what Stoke's going to do with that. Um, so if you want to book in before Christmas, now is a good time. I'm hoping at Christmas I can still go see my family. Who knows? Who knows? Um... But yeah, so if you want to book in, it's a good time to book right now before we know what's going on in family and Christmas, etc, etc. Okay, my lovelies, have a phenomenal week. Uh, look after yourselves. I will speak to you soon. Sending tons of goddess blessings to you all. Stay safe in these troubled times. Um, and I love you all lots. Bye, guys.